Okay, Jishnu, you had asked me a question about uh, this problem. The internal angles of a regular polygon are in arithmetic progression. The smallest angle is 120 degrees and the common difference is 5 degrees. The number of sides of the polygon and the sum of the internal angles, so we have to find those. So this is the data that's given and we have to now there are two ways of finding the sum of the angles. Yeah, one is that it's an n-sided polygon, we assume, and uh, we use the arithmetic progression formula. The second thing is that there is a geometric constraint on uh, the, uh, the sum of the internal angles that an n-sided polygon would have. So we get this equation, yeah, and you were asking me about this equation. On the left-hand side here is simply the um, arithmetic progression formula, yeah n terms with a uh, first term of 120 and a common difference of 5 and so this is easily recognizable. The right hand side n minus 2 into 180 degrees, uh, I don't have the degrees there, 180 is uh, the sum of the internal angles of an n sided polygon. So let us see how we get that because I think that's where you are tripping up. So let's consider an n sided polygon, Yeah, it doesn't even have to be regular. So I'm just uh, drawn a kind of irregular polygon. I've not closed it, so n could be anything, yeah? So we have the various lines. I've not labeled it. I'm going to go by color right now. Yeah, so red, yellow, green, blue, uh, plum color, purple, and orange. So those are the colors we're going to use. Now what we first do is we extend each side. We're going to go in the counterclockwise direction. I'm going to extend uh, each side. So I'm going to produce this way, yeah? Uh, and what we get then is this figure here on the top. So all the dashed lines indicate that that corresponding colored line has been produced further. So there's a, the red line has been produced further, the yellow line produced further, etc., etc. And you can see now that what is formed by the yellow line and the red dashed line, that angle is the exterior angle of this at this vertex, and it happens to be the supplement of the interior angle here okay and so we can say that uh, at any vertex the sum of the internal and external angles is 180 degrees from which we can conclude that the internal angle is 180 degrees minus the external angle and you can see that very easily just using the uh, uh, solid line and the dashed line so if you have n such vertices yeah uh, we, we need to calculate that but let's take a step back and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to arrange all the lines of this, um, all the sides of the uh, polygon in such a manner that their starting points, yes, yeah? so remember we're going in the counterclockwise direction, so their starting points are concurrent. So when I place them that way, I get the red line here, the yellow line here, the uh, green line here, the blue line here, etc., etc. And you can see that the red line here is parallel to the red line in the previous figure. Similarly with the yellow lines, the green lines, etc., etc. Now, it's easy to see that the angle between this solid red line and this solid yellow line is the same as the exterior angle here. Yeah, similarly, between the yellow line here and the green line here is the same as the exterior angle here. So in other words, here we have the sum of all the exterior angles of the triangle. And they can easily see that that is basically the angle about a point, which is uh, 360 degrees, 2 times 180 degrees. So now if we have n such vertices, then the sum of the internal angle would be just n times this, yeah, n times 180 degrees minus the sum of all the external angles, which is n times 180 degrees minus 2 times 180 degrees, which gives us n minus 2 times 180 degrees. All right. Now, there is another way of looking at it, and that is by drawing diagonals. So, let us look at that. Again, we have our n-sided polygon. I choose a vertex here, and now what I do is I'm going to draw diagonals. Now, obviously, I can't draw diagonals to the immediate uh, vertices, so the, the, the ones that are right next to it because I don't get a, got, get a diagonal, I get a side there, yeah? So in other words, the vertex I have chosen and the two right next to it are excluded from forming diagonals. So in other words, if I have n vertices, three are not going to form diagonals 
and so I get only n minus 3 diagonals. All right. Now, this when I draw this first diagonal, the yellow dashed line, I actually divide this interior of this convex uh, polygon into two regions. Yeah, the region which has this triangle, and then this other region out here. Each subsequent diagonal, however, adds only one extra region. So when I add uh, this green diagonal, I end up with three, not four. Yeah. When I added the yellow diagonal, I got two regions. I added the green diagonal, I get one, two, and then three regions. So each subsequent diagonal adds only one extra region. Now from a given point, we mentioned that only n minus three diagonals can be drawn. And so we can finally get two for the first diagonal. And then I have n minus four remaining diagonals, each of which adds an extra region. So 2 plus n minus 4 regions, which is n minus 2 regions. And now all of them will be triangles. Yeah. Now we know that the sum of the internal angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And so if I have n minus 2 triangles, I get n minus 2 times 180 degrees.